Yo, what's up guys? What you just heard was my new single with Steve Void and Brie Talani called Because of You. And today I want to show you guys how we made it. So if you haven't heard of the track, you can go check it out on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever you use just to get an idea of the full song before I go into the little details here. So I'm going to start at the beginning of the song with these violin plucks. They sound like this. I've been fucked up for 13 days. I don't want to face my feelings. So the violin plucks consist of three layers. Here's a contact layer, and it's a viola solo preset, and pizzicato is checked on. It sounds like this. Got some EQ on there. So that viola pluck is kind of a lower pluck, and then I have this other pluck on top of it that's also a contact preset, and it's a ch the cello solo preset in pizzicato mode as well. It sounds like this. So in this one, I'm cutting out a ton of the low end and also a high end. So it's just the little range of frequencies playing, but it just fills out the pluck more. Then underneath these two violin plucks, I have this other pluck that is from Nexus. It's just a saw pluck. You could remake it in Serum or any other synth really easily, but it sounds like this. Moving on to the next section, it's a pretty orchestral intro to this song, so I wanted to keep that theme, so I have some big violin pads and some other pads. I'll just solo all the instruments so you can hear what they sound like. So there's big sweeping violin pads, it's another contact sample. Um, under cello ensemble and I use the sustain articulation in this one instead of pizzicato just to get the big sweeping pads. Then layered with that I have a pad I made in Serum that's just two saw waves pitched up an octave from each other and there's really nothing going on here. Um, just have some dimension expander, some phaser, and some chorus on the sound. Let's move on to the build up and the drop section. Keep in mind this isn't the final version because Steve Void changed some more things after I sent it to him, back to him again. So this isn't the final version of the song, but it's pretty close. So I'm gonna solo these synths here and show you what I have going on. The pluck part consists of three layers, and the first layer is a serum layer, it sounds like this. And it's a basic CJW wave layered with a basic MG wave. They're the same octave, the basic MG wave just a little more detuned. And I have this envelope here modulating a low pass 18 filter. Here are the settings for the envelope if you want to copy them. In the effects tab, it's just some dimension expander and a little bit of chorus on there. So layer with that serum layer, I have two Nexus layers, I believe. Here's the first one. It's again just like a little saw pluck. It's the same pluck sound I showed you before that's layered with the violin plucks called AR crystals. On top of that I have a marimba like bell sound going on. And that is a Nexus preset called Paradise. I have no idea what expansion it's in or if it's in the basic version of Nexus. I completely forget. But it's called Paradise and I have some delay on it fill out the space a little bit more. So all together, those three layers sound like this. I'm gonna get into the MIDI for a second. So here's what the MIDI to this track looks like. I find it's helpful to keep chord progressions unique to do little fills in between notes. As you can see, this note right here in between these two chords I just add it to fill out the space a little bit more and make it a little more bouncy and interesting. So I do that a couple times throughout the chord progression as you can see. It's going on in this section as well. 
It's just a lot more interesting than just having straight chords to have some little fills in between with single notes. Also to keep these synth sounds interesting, I've bounced their reverb tails and reversed them just to give the reverb a cool effect in the spaces. And if you don't know how to do that, just take whatever sound you're trying to reverse the reverb of, bounce it in place. Then once you bounce it, take whatever notes you want to have with the reverb on it, go ahead and reverse them. Go into your effects, put a reverb on it. I like to use Valhalla Room. Keep the mix at 100%, turn the pre-delay down. Depends how long of a note you're trying to reverse for the, the decay, but I'll use about two seconds. You're gonna get this sound. So to cut off that little harsh tail at the end, I'm gonna fade it out. And then I'm gonna create a folder, and then I'm gonna bounce this in place, and we'll just call it Reverse Marimba. And then once I have that sound, I'm gonna reverse it again. And then I'm gonna cut off the tail of that sound. So at this point, you should have a perfect reverse up to that chord. So it's a pretty easy trick that I use in almost every song. Let's move on to the drop. It's all because of you. So the drop is just those same exact chords. After I sent it back to Steve Void, he made it sound better with the bright piano sound and he made the whole mix sound better. But um, it's basically just those chords repeating during the drop and it has this vocal chop on top of it that I made with the singer Brie Talani's vocals. So if you don't know how to make vocal chops in Logic or whatever DAW, there's a million tutorials on YouTube already of how to make vocal chops. So I'm not gonna go over that in this video. I just sliced up her vocals, spread them out across my MIDI keyboard and just messed around with them until I found something I liked. So the end result was these chops. I'll show you the processing I have on these. I have some EQ here, cutting out some frequencies around 5600 hertz, and a lot of the low end here, because there's so much going on in the low end during the drop. And then I have this Chris Lord Alge vocal plugin um, that's adding some compression, doing some slight EQing and some stereo widening as well. On top of that, I have another compressor called Renaissance from Waves and it's slightly compressing the sound a little bit more. On top of that, I have a tape saturator from Waves called J37. It's not doing much to the sound, but it's distorting it a tiny bit. And then after that, I just have some sidechain on there to sidechain it to the kick. Other than that, the drums are pretty basic. Here's the drum pattern I have. These are all just from samples I've collected over the years and have made into my own sample pack, really. So, uh, and the kick is from, actually from the Disco Fries pack, as you can see here. It's on Splice, and I like this kick a lot. Uh, I think this is the first time I used it in the song now, but it's a good kick. All right, that's pretty much it for this song. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you haven't heard the song yet, be sure to go check it out on Spotify, Apple Music, whatever, and let me know what you think. Peace. It's all because of you.